life is not meant to be a constant struggle, and there is no evidence that suggests we must take it seriously. All of the problems that humans face are products of our own minds, created by the stories we tell ourselves. The only thing that truly exists is experience itself, and in this regard, humans are no different from any other living being. A dog, a tree, or a frog does not have inherent problems, and neither do we. It is easy to fall into the trap of believing that lack or not, having enough is a problem, but this is merely a conditioned story in our heads. The truth is that life is about balance, and in all of nature, there is a constant interplay between opposites. Life needs death, light needs dark, and positivity needs negativity. One cannot exist without the other. When we learn to accept life as a whole, instead of picking a corner, we free ourselves from the illusion of problems. No living thing on earth experiences pure positivity because it is simply a perspective. A crow eating a lizard can be seen as both positive and negative. The crow survives another day, but the lizard loses its body. This is yin and yang in action. The eternal dance of opposites. When a woman gives birth, the pain is seen as negative, but the beautiful baby that emerges is pure positivity. When a relationship ends, one person is finally free to move on and live the life they choose, while the other becomes depressed and saddened. This, too, is the yin and yang of life. By recognizing that life is about opposites, we can liberate ourselves from our worldly problems and change our perspective on life. Observing nature and the natural order of things reveals the beautiful cycle that unfolds before us. We are eternal beings who have forgotten our true nature, mistakenly identifying with the physical body we inhabit rather than the observer within. Our problems are constructs of human conditioning, a byproduct of our imagination and the limitations of the physical mind. All of nature experiences pain, but only humans suffer. A gazelle being chased by a lion that manages to escape does not dwell on what just happened. As soon as the threat disappears, the gazelle returns to grazing in the fields. Humans, on the other hand, tend to overthink and worry about whether such an event will happen again, fueling that thought until we inadvertently invoke the laws of nature to bring us that experience once more. Over time, this chronic overthinking can become a defining personality trait. Suffering and problems are ultimately a choice, as they are merely a perspective. We've all encountered someone who stubs their toe and dramatically declares they must go to the hospital, even though no serious injury has occurred. Their pain is real, but their suffering is a product of their imagination. Another person in the same situation might laugh at the silliness of hitting the edge of the coffee table. We call this pain tolerance. But in reality, we all experience pain the same way. It is our reaction to it, based on our programming and the society in which we live, that differs. As infants, we come into this world as pure beings, free from illusions, beliefs, and societal opinions. However, during our formative years, we become filled with the beliefs of those around us. This is good. That is bad. This is scary. That is not. These are the truths, and those are the truths, and those are the lies. Every single bit of it is an opinion of a human who lived before us. And this is part of the game of life, to be filled with the beliefs of others, and then, somehow, find our way back to the pure being we were born as. Nature doesn't make mistakes. Children naturally make believe pretend and find joy in simple things like skipping stones across a pond. But at some point, human opinion intervenes and puts a stop to it all. Get your head out of the clouds. Do something useful. Stop playing games. 
Get a career and an education. Get serious. But all of this is rubbish. Lies that have made the human experience more difficult than it needs to be. Our spirit, or inner being, has been trying to break us out of this limiting mindset since the day we adopted it. But we have been so conditioned that we often fail to recognize the signs. Deep down, we have always known there was more to life. We have had moments of profound realization when gazing at the stars, contemplating the nature of existence, the Earth, space, and the Big Bang. But what happened before existence? Our brains often hit a wall, unable to comprehend what came before the Big Bang, or before the Big Bang, or before the concept of a god. Why, after all of human existence, have we not come to a definitive conclusion? The answer is simple. The human game was designed that way. We were meant to forget our power, to forget that we are infinite beings who hold all knowledge and infinite potential. This was the only way we could play the game and have the illusion of losing. The experience of struggle, pain, and suffering we wanted this game because outside of this human body, none of those things exist. We are all knowing and all powerful. We are on a journey of rediscovering ourselves, of becoming that infinite being once again. But we intentionally made the game challenging. It's all an illusion, a trick, and we are the tricksters. Today, we can begin a new chapter in our lives, one that our spirit is calling us to embrace. Be still. Become the observer. Watch your thoughts and emotions and recognize that the game your body plays is separate from your true self. Come to the realization that those thoughts and feelings are not you, but merely companions on this journey of life. Move your hand, scratch your nose, wiggle your toes, Notice that, while performing these actions, you were in control. You set the intention, and your body followed. Now, ask yourself this profound question. Where did the intention come from? The human brain cannot generate intention. It can only execute your commands. So, who created those intentions and decided to move the body? When you can truly comprehend the answer to that question, you will free yourself from all your problems, suffering, doubt, and worries. You will begin to break free from the limitations of the physical mind and move towards the real mind, the real you, the observer, the all-powerful being that has been hiding in plain sight all these years. Welcome back home. Welcome back to your power. Now, let your true journey begin. Embrace the realization that you are not your thoughts, your emotions, or your physical body. You are the eternal observer. You are the eternal observer. The infinite being who chose to participate in this grand game of life. By recognizing this truth, you can break free from the illusions that have held you back and start living life on your own terms. Life is not about struggling or taking things too seriously. It's about embracing the experience, the joy, and the challenges that come with it. It's about recognizing that every moment, whether perceived as positive or negative, is an opportunity for growth and self, discovery. So, take a deep breath, smile, and remember that you are the creator of your own reality. You have the power to choose how you react to the events in your life. And by doing so, you can shape your experience. Embrace the journey, trust the process, and know that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. As you navigate this beautiful game of life, keep in mind that you are never alone. You are connected to all of existence, to the very fabric of the universe. The same energy that flows through the stars and the galaxies flows through you. You are a microcosm of the macrocosm, a perfect reflection of the divine. So, 
Go forth and live your life with purpose, passion, and presence. Embrace your true nature and let your light shine brightly for all to see. Remember, you are an infinite being with infinite potential, and the only limits that exist are the ones you place upon yourself. Welcome to the grand adventure of life, where every moment is a gift and every experience is an opportunity to grow, learn, and evolve. Embrace it all, and let your journey be one of joy, love, and endless possibility.